I love this quote. Happiness comes when we stop complaining about the troubles we have and give thanks for the troubles that we don't have. Complaining has become a go-to solution to express our pain, our dissatisfaction and our resentment. Now complaining does not bring any joy because we've all heard what we focus on grows. Complaining only keeps our focus on the negatives. And it just makes us a living, breathing crap magnet. Now in this episode, I'm going to give you a magic wand. And like the Red Queen in Alice in Wonderland, use this wand to say off with the bad. Hi, I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on. Peter Pan has famously said, all you need is a little faith, trust and pixie dust. Well, this magic wand, gratitude, that I'm now going to hand over to you, does just that. Sprinkle a little pixie dust all over your life. Gratitude is looking for the good in the things that you already have. So as you find the good in these things and give thanks, the things that you have to be grateful for grows. You remember? What you focus on grows. Well, you might say, what do I have to be thankful for? My children hate me. My mother doesn't talk to me. My ex has remarried and moved on and I feel like a used tissue. Boo -hoo. Well, stop. Check. Feel your breath. Great, you're alive. Remember, a quarter of the population didn't wake up this morning and you're alive. That's great. Kidding apart, true appreciation really, really has the power to shift things from what it is not to what it should be. Now, instead of going on and on and on about what a critical so-and-so your ex is, focus on what a good father he is. Instead of complaining all the time about your boss and your job and your co-workers, focus on the paycheck that comes effortlessly into your bank every month. Be a miner. Be a miner. Keep sifting through all that silt and sand to find gold. Gratitude is much more than positive thinking. There is a way to do it. This is my all-time favorite tool and I have been doing this for decades. I have been accused of being too sunshiny, but that's something that I can live with. Now let me share with you this amazing tool which I always keep right on top in Sheila's toolbox. Take a new book. I recommend that you buy an expensive, good-looking book. It gives out a better energy, plus a little eye candy is motivating. So every day in this book, write 10 things that you're thankful for. Every day, 10 things. 10 different things. And no, you will not run out of things to be grateful for. Let me give you a list right from the top of my head. If I start with my body, I have these hands that move, eyes that can see, teeth in my mouth, air that I breathe. Get the drift? You also can look at conveniences. What about electricity? Running water? What about just water? And what about internet? A few years ago, the internet was in the realm of science fiction. You can look at each room in your house and be thankful for the things which are there. Then you can go to the various sections of your life. Your career, your health, your surroundings, your family. You see, the list is endless. Now there is a specific format in which you do this. Don't just do a laundry list. In your notebook, write down, I'm really thankful for, whatever it is that you're thankful for, because I feel, whatever it is that you're feeling. Some examples are blessed, thankful, privileged. The universe responds to feelings. Let me leave you with this scary message from hell. If you take things for granted, the things that are granted will be taken. Scared? Do this exercise. I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to send me pictures of your books, 
the list that you have made sorry not the list please write down and follow the format follow the link below to get more gratitude ideas and practices from my blog feel free to write in with your comments your queries and your doubts i'd love to hear from you and watch out for more life hacks in our next video like share and subscribe to spread the light